Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Francesca. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing and make sure you have the notification bell on so that you are notified when I put new content out on Mondays and Thursdays every week regarding life lux and anything girly. So for today's video, I wanted to show you how I cleaned my vintage um, Louis Vuitton Keepall 45. And I wanted to show you how I cleaned the dark, dirty spots from the Vaquetta leather. So this is what it currently looks like now after the second cleaning. And I'll show you guys how I did that um, in, um, in a bit. And this is what it looked like when I first got it, right? So you guys see that the the, the leather is um, dirty right here. It had a lot of darkening from just the dirt. Maybe pe the person who had it before was putting it down um, on dirty surfaces and never really cleaned it in between use. And um, I've only done this treatment twice on this bag. So the first time, the first time I got it, which was, I think back in December. And then the second time was um, just now. So I wanted to share that process with you guys. Um, the, the, the cleaner that I used is the Apple brand leather um, cleaner. This brand also comes with its own leather conditioner, but I personally like to use Big Four leather conditioner as taught to me by my good friend, Carolyn, because it does not darken the Paquetta leather. Um, and I don't want to risk um, darkening it even more since it's already a vintage bag. So those are the two items that I use. And for the magic trick, a pencil eraser. Um, so I just have a regular number two pencil and um, the pencil eraser is what I've used to kind of help even um, remove some of the dirt from the areas. I don't like to, I've never tried the Clorox, um, what is it called? Oh, the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser because it does have chemicals on it. And for me, as I'm new to collecting and I work really hard to, um, to even purchase items like this. So I am not very comfortable in, um, possibly damaging my bag. So I'd rather opt for um, something dry, you know, to try in a very minuscule area. So I tried this and it didn't damage, it did help. And um, it does help in the end. Um, the reason why I didn't try to remove it all the first time is because I didn't want to dry out the leather too much. I wanted to give it some time to fully um, get conditioned and restored. And then, um, you know, when it's time to clean again, then I try to get a little bit more out. So here is the process of me cleaning out the bag and I hope you guys enjoy. So I start with the apple leather cleaner with a very, very small amount and just focus on certain areas that I need to touch up. I don't clean or wipe the whole part of the vaquetta bags or the vaquetta leather unless it needs it. I try to get the tops where the D-ring rubs because it has a lot of friction there. After each treatment, I also make sure that I wipe the area dry with the dry portion of the towel. Don't 
the bottom of the bag is the most problematic area because of dirt that accumulates when you put it down on dirty surfaces. This is my second treatment for this bag. And I will include pictures of what it looks like before the first treatment and after the second one. After a few minutes, once it dries, I start the pencil process. So I gently erase the darkened areas as well as I can and wipe off the dirt that comes off. Once you've cleaned all the areas with the eraser, now it's time to condition. I used the Big Four leather conditioner and I only use just a tad and make my towel moist and just go around all of the shadow letter and try to get it moisturized as well as I can. This is before treatment, first treatment, and after the second one. So you guys can see how much of a difference it has made since I started cleaning it and since I got it. So that process is what I use to clean out this particular um, Baquetta bag. It's my only Baquetta bag right now in my collection that is vintage. So she needs a little bit more TLC than the other ones. Um, I will spray her with Apple Guard, but there's really nowhere to go right now. So I'll probably spray her a little bit before if that, um, if I ever go anywhere, but otherwise she'll just stay in my closet looking pretty until whenever that time comes. Uh, that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or any other tricks that you use on your vintage bags, please let me know. Um, I would love to see what other tricks are out there to keep this baby looking like it is. And um, as usual, if you like content like this, make sure you like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is I Love Lux, I L V E L U X. Um, I do have another video coming up this week on Thursday, so make sure you have the notification bell on for that one so that you are notified when it pops up. Thank you guys. That's it, and I will see you on the next one. Have a blessed day.